Hey guys, NSC Walk 99 here, and we are going to be doing a video on how to just get, just know where spies are. Well, like to help you not get backstabbed. So one way to make sure you don't get backstabbed is spy checking, which is probably the most common way. Sorry guys, I'm drinking Jamba Juice, but it's probably one of the most common ways of spy checking is just looking behind your back like just going like that and it is efficient but there is another way of spy checking which which is just hitting your teammates and just randomly hitting your teammates with like with like an equalizer or something because what it that does is it makes it so you know that there's a spy and the spy will reveal himself most likely because he'll try shooting at you. So basically, that's just a way to check for spies. And that, I mean, yeah, it's efficient. But there, I'm also going to tell you more so you won't, so you already know you, you that they're a spy before you even spy check them. And they're really simple rules. They're actually not that hard of a rule to follow. The first rule to knowing if they're a spy is watching them because when you watch a spy, you'll notice that they try keeping their face to your back at all times. Because that's their goal, to backstab you. So that's basically one of the things they do, is just look behind, look at your back the whole entire time until they get the perfect chance to backstab you. And that's why, you know, and that's how you get rid of spies, because it's obviously one of the most, you know, efficient ways to get rid of spies. I mean, it's not the, like, just checking, I'm spy checking that guy. Because, you know, he was going behind my back and I was like... Oh, and I was killed. I had a pretty good streak there. Eight kills, that's nice. Just doing good old spy listening. Anyways, there's also an, the ne another way is by is by just knowing that they are already a spy because they just go around and they don't even shoot or anything. They're just going around, and that's how you know if they're a spy, basically. And they will act suspicious, as in ha by just going around and not attacking anyone and their your enemy will not shoot them so that's also another way and another way is them coming your teammate coming from their base uh thank you pyro you let me kill that sniper so easily but you know then you killed me but thanks that's food then help me but anyways oh hawk you so sandy Anyways, Get up. that's Let's how go. you check for spies, because that's just one simple way of knowing if there's a spy or not, because it's just always a uh, spy. And you see, there's the Your Eternal Reward spy, which is just a spy that Your Eternal Rewards and looks like it was just there the whole time. Drinking juice. But basically, that's how spies work, and how spies act. Um, there's, you can also do it by, and, okay, uh, sorry about that, but when you run into a spy, they also are like a hitbox, because you see, that since they're an enemy teammate, you just walk hit straight into them, oh hey look I got that twice, but basically you walk straight into them, because you don't like, because since they're the enemy, you just walk straight into them, and then you get hit, and then most likely you will be killed. Oh, I mean, no, you don't get killed, but you hit it, walk into them, and you see, you know they're a spy, and that's how you tell that they're a spy. There's also another way of detecting a spy. Oh, sorry, we're changing map. I'm gonna pause the video, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and I'm gonna tell you more about spies. And basically, so. Oh, Since I they're a hitbox, so when you walk into them, they'll just stand right. still 
and you have a chance to kill them. So basically, that's another way of telling if they're a spy. So you just accidentally bump into your teammate and you're like, hey, look. I bumped into him. And you see there's a spy behind me. So I was trying to spy check. But basically, you you walk into them and you know they're a spy. So that's one way. And there's also, when they're invisible, and you walk and you just hit, hit something and you see, see a guy, that means they're a spy. So what you do is you just sort of spam a few bullets around and whenever you, and you will also get like a coating that will, that will so, sort of show the spy a bit. And though he'll be translucent like, and you'll be able to kill him. And that's just another way of killing a spy. It's a simple, easy way of knowing who's knowing a spy and it's just a way. So that's how you how we just avoid spies and that's my tips. I don't have anything to say else anymore because that's basically what I do and I don't you know I, it's been helpful for me because you know I haven't been spy checking you often because I'm talking to you about spy checking or I'm pretty sure I should be spy checking myself you know but yeah that's basically all I gotta say to you guys now so yeah and oh, oh yeah I have still have more to say actually Pyros are the enemy to spies, but they all aren't always the enemy to spies. You see, I knew that guy was a spy because I saw him in the corner and he wasn't doing anything. So I just spy checked him and he it's got on fire. Pyro. So basically, that's how it works. But you see. Pyros aren't always the number one way to kill spies because of how they, it's, I mean, they're not the number one way to kill spies. I mean, there's many more ways because you see a pyro is not the number one way anymore because there's this thing called the spicicle. The spicicle makes it so where the spot, the spy has two seconds to get of invulnerability to fire. Hey, so guys, basically really he's not talk spies. So he's basically they're basically not no. the most efficient class for spies. It's funny how people think you go spy to get rid of engineers and you do not. And that's you basically You get rid of an engineer by getting rid of his buildings with a demo man. And basically that's how it you works. Listen to your mental gen right now. Just throw a bunch of grenades in there and we'll all panic and die. So that's just the one way. And I, that's basically it now. Um, I think I told you all about me and my spy stuff, whatever, and Gentleman I should spy check. So yeah. Thank you guys, and yeah. So I'm just gonna be talking about random crap now. Uh, so my Skyrim series, uh, I'm gonna probably be doing some Skyrim or Minecraft tomorrow. I haven't been doing any uh, Skyrim or Minecraft lately. Actually, no, I, I haven't been doing any Skyrim. And I'm sorry about the video about yesterday. I did not get that video yesterday. I'm sorry about that. I am so very sorry about that because I, I was just trying to uh, learn how to get recording with um, Call of Duty. And that's basically the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, but I will be trying to record this COD soon when I when I, when I get my. Uh, if I get an Apotec camera soon, um, I'll be recording quad. And after that, uh, thank you guys for watching, and bye. H hope you guys thought my tips are helpful. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye. <laughs>